Welcome to another episode of Perseverance Adherence. So we've just traveled across this tram into this, uh, this cityscape. I forgot what this place is called. Frost something Citadel? I forgot. Anyway, what sort of dangers are we going to find here, I wonder? I kind of forgot what we were doing in the storyline. <laughs> and what's this? We got the Lich Reaper. Okay. And immediately we get a battle. I can tell because of the blue flames that appeared out of nowhere. Well, isn't that special? To be honest, I was expecting a little more resistance than this. Oh, oh, I saw it. I see them. Never mind. Okay, what is this? Shoots forward in an eight tile long line. Okay, that's cool. We'll definitely want to use it because of, you know, how far they are. Also, the font is a little dark. A little hard to read. Okay, get out of this. There we go. Ooh, and you're done, son. Not bad. I think I'll keep this. Come on. Alright, that was not too bad. We did take some damage though, although there's an obelisk right there, so we are fine. Wait, there's Sven. What's going on? I just got nicked by a bullet. Don't worry. Wait, what? Nick? Okay, if you say so. Spully, are you okay? Why are you spazzing out over here? These piggies aren't really very tough, so you can leave them to us. Okay. What are you doing, though? There are not enough trash bins for how much trash we're taking out, and I'm out of ideas. What do we do? If you really hate the sight of blood that much, you can just throw them off the building into the lower city. And give those soul-catching harpies bodies to feed on? Fuck that! It seems like everyone's out for blood, honestly. Even Sven, you know, doesn't mind talking about, um, grotesque things. I figured he'd stand out from the group by doing that, but, you know, everyone is hell-bent on killing things, so... Don't let me take all the kills, dear. Don't worry. I have this sweet-ass sniper rifle with me, so we're all good. Okay, what next? Oh god. God, this is bad. Let me just use this again. Um, I might be better off using something with wider range. Like, maybe this. Those stupid ass bats. Do they respawn? They do not! I have found an exploit. Not really. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, we got red cordial. What does that do? Ah, it's an item. Not sure what it does, but... Hold on. Uh, Red Cordial is described as sugary poison to unsurprisingly everyone whose fur color has been entirely engulfed in its red splendor. Wow, what a twist! The sugar rush is the only reason anyone is even game to consume it. Enjoy the speed boost while it lasts. Okay, speed boost. We'll keep that in mind. Don't really need it right now. Oh, right, we can jump. Jump across that. Got something else. Temporal apple. Taking a bite of this chronologically blessed fruit will pause all enemies, allowing you a short frame to burst them down. For some reason, it also affects a couple of your weapons for no adequately explored reason. <laughs> so, in other words, there's a bug. Okay. We 
we will keep the apple equipped because it may come in handy. Let's go back to this sniper. And, uh, where to? There we go. Okay, you guys need to stop teleporting in front of me, or at least tell me how do you do that. I'd really appreciate it. That'd make things a lot easier for me. Okay, so we've got... Got the boomerang again. That's nice, I guess. Nola, you dropped your weapon. I meant to, sweetie. My, my, what an opportune time to try it out, hmm? Oh my god, are there four of them now? That means four of those beam things, which means twice the lag. Nah, I'll stick with this. Ah, oh, why am I... Damn it! I'm gonna die. Oh, we're good. Woo! That was a close one. Okay, what does Foley have to say? I forgot to talk to her. Just a little scrape, I'll be fine. Huh? Okay, so that's implying that these guys already fought people. It's a joy to see you in action. You're really good at this. When you have all these weapons, you tend to be pretty good. I guess it's down to good reaction time as well. So there's like three weapons we haven't tried yet. Anyway, let's move on. So we can talk to her. Don't lose sight of it. Uh, we'll see if it comes useful later on. I'm not sure if it will. We've already got a weapon with pretty high range and a weapon with uh, large radius, explosion radius. So I think we're set. You've done very well. Just don't let yourself get bullheaded. That's how eyes are lost. Good luck, dearie. We'll be right behind you. So they have something different to say in every map. That's interesting. What's going on here? I'm not sure... The mapping is a little confusing sometimes. Excuse me, let me prepare for this. <laughs> Found you! I was hoping you'd make it this far. <laughs> Purely so I can have the chance to slaughter you myself. <laughs> That's trouble. Legion Commander Warthog. He sounds, er, uh, big. The one they call the Titan. Big is an understatement. Well, I didn't come here to be intimidated by a pork chop. Let's meet this Titan head on, yes? Yeah! Pep's got the idea! Yeah, let's march right in. Sounds great. Got a sniper around waiting just for you, pal. Okay, he is pretty big. Looks like the speed demon circuit has been deactivated. Well, but... Still, we may as well deal with Porky Pig since we're here and all. Okay. I may sit this one out, if you don't mind. <laughs> Little bitch. This big old pig probably ain't as tough as he looks. The bigger, than they're, bigger they are, the harder they fall, as they say. Noah's got some competition. This is the stuff of nightmares. You know what? Yeah, let me save again. So I noticed Pep has a wanted poster. I wonder how long it took for them to put that up. Uh, okay, I was wondering what to do. Haha, <laughs> so predictable! I value life forms so ready to be slaughtered. <laughs> we can take him. Ah! I see a demonstration is needed. Now, let's see. EA, no. DreamWorks, nah. Active. aha, here's one. Now watch, Nats. Watch what happens to those who challenge me. 
See this high rise? This supposed climax of engineering, yes? See it? <laughs> because I don't, the splinters of this shattered competitor should be example to all of you. Well, that enthusiasm didn't last long. No, we can't give up now. So he's enormous, enormous, strong, and terrifying. The bigger they are, the less their agility. Oh. I trust you all have agility. The idea is to exhaust him almost looking for weaknesses. A monk's looking for weaknesses. He is slow in comparison of his size. Gravity has been an unfair monster to him. Now it's time to work with the laws of nature. Dash like you've never dashed before. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Hey fatty, we accept your challenge. Wahahaha, <laughs> yes! Fall into your graves, cookie doughs, just as Naxon wants. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the chance to make an example of you. Naxon himself is watching. I can feel his cold eyes looking down on me. He is staring, so intensely staring. Now, die before me. Okay. Oh, don't step on the red, I guess. Well, that didn't last long. RIP team. <sighs> Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you, autosave, once again. Let's pay attention this time. We have to survive. Seems a predictable pattern. Use a slow ass bitch. You ain't got nothing on me. We did it. We did it. <clears throat> Hold still so I can crush you. <laughs> Make you squeal. <laughs> ah, what's the matter, Porky? Getting tired? Blah. Even if that's so, how do you hope to outmaneuver me when you've expended so much energy avoiding what I can do with one arm? Okay. Gonna do some more surviving, maybe, with this oh, dual wielding weapons or something. Your stamina is to be commended, but you have no way of killing me. <laughs> you will die! Just as your father before you. Hey, that's a bit of a low blow. Come on. Pep! I found a glaring weakness. His temples show writhing signals of being extremely sensitive. What? Shoot him just above the eyes. Okay, no problem. With what? Whatever you can reach with? Well, this ought to be fun. Okay, first, let's get used to his little pattern. Oh, we've got a new arena here. Oh, shit. Ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me use this. Ow! You little fucker. Oh shit. Oh shit, messed up there. Ah! Oh, 
Oh, I see the weakness there. Okay, I get it. Come on. Well, I almost died there. Oh, shit. Not bad. No, I will not accept failure. No, accept it, bitch. I think we did pretty well. Now, nothing can stop us. Onward to the sty. The sty? It's the sty. Pig sty? Next, and ought to be a cakewalk after that. Don't let the victory fool you. Warthog was tougher than any entity we've faced so far. Um, I wouldn't say that. It wasn't that bad, actually. But Naxon, Naxon is something else. He is a despot tyrant. Is that how you pronounce it? Despot? Tyrant and murderer. An entire family of quasi-royals are dead by his hands. Lest I mention he's a powerful necromancer, combined with the near immor immortality of a lich. It's possible to beat him, but easier than Warthog? I sincerely doubt it. Way to shit on the party, Sven. Yeah, you fucking nerd. Let's go. We have a spot to dethrone. There we go. Where'd Spoli go? Wait a minute. We can go this way now. But wait. Why did we go... Okay, so the only thing blocking us was Sven. Because he was standing right in the way. Whatever. <laughs> There's only one way forward, by foot. Where'd Spoli and Sven go? They've opted to meet us at the base of the sty. We're taking the quicker way. Hmm? What you said earlier about necromancy, I'm beginning to suspect you are right. If you are, do you think it's possible with Naxon's demise, although summoned will cease to function? Maybe. Perhaps it's a host and a puppet deal. Just maybe disposing of him will shut down the puppets. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Then we can clean up and rebuild our society into a democracy. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, dearie. We still face the big bad guy. But... Just in case we fail, I feel this must be said. Oh shit. Here we go. Why are you being all coquettish? Because I like you. We all fear being turned down, don't we? Avast! You said so first. Well, I like you too, Nola. But do you like like me? You're so cool. You got ass. Oh, sass. You're scary, but in the awesome way, and everything you do, every action you take, each compliment you make, barbed as they are, gives me reason to struggle on. The future that comes tomorrow matters little to me, but a tomorrow without you would be really, really, uh, would be like ill hells of lame. Jeez, you're way more rom romantic than you seem on a surface level. Dearest gods, are you saying I'm deep? Maybe I am, Pep. Just maybe I am. Okay, I'll be honest, I've next to no idea how deaf is defined, but uh, we're getting sidetracked. Ha! Huh, but you're never on track. You're hellbent on defying those rails, remember? I guess I fail to always remember what a faintless badass I am. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, don't worry. I won't hold it against you, love. Well, I say we wasted too much time doing that thing, which is nothing instead of the much highlier touted something. 
whatever something is. You hear that, Noah? Pep just pretty much subtly rejected you. Well then, let's go and proceed to do that some something. I couldn't agree more. You first. Unrequited. Sure you are, and I'm Yog Fuzz Mittens, Flame Duke of the Silent Deep, he who surveys sinners from within the hat box. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, cutscene time. What the Are we feral now? I mean, we're more feral than Svoli or, um, Sped, but still. Where do those glasses come from? Deal with it, bitch. Honestly, have you sought to contain powers beyond your imagining? Okay, that's his voice. I see. Gonna have to act like that now. Act for the tower. Okay, carrying forth. Oh, there they are. Hey, give me my sniper back, woman. Oh, I already have one, good. It's gonna be the first time a citizen has entered the sty. Are you ready for anything? I'll be joining you. I have a feeling my wisdom may be of use. Yeah, you've been a lot of use right so far, Sven. You've been a lot of use. I won't be going in with you. I'll cover your backs on the ground so you don't suffer any unwelcome surprises. Sure thing, Smoly. Totally not backing out or anything. What's this? Another weapon? Ah, this is a cleaver thing. After your master's cleaver, hmm? Take it if you can. It's two tiles in front of the player. Huh. I guess that's cool. We can try it out. Hey! What is this? Okay. Um, come on out, guys. Thank you. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Maybe I can do this? Yes, I can. Scrubs. Okay, moving on. You know, actually, I think I saw something back there. Mouth of High Lord Naxon. <laughs> oh, is that the guy? Shit, I forgot how to do his voice. Welcome, heretics, to the pinnacle of your demise. Be warned, all who invade here are damned. No, no, I forgot. Not a big deal. There's a hole in this wall. There we go. Okay, so we get a second life. Isn't that great? Come on. What's this then? Sparkling, so I'm assuming it's something of importance. This is a pretty cool uh, tile set, I have to say. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um. 
Oh wait, I think we have one more thing to activate. Except, how do you activate the last thing? Oh, there's a lighter here. No. A. Oh shit! This has gone far enough, Rekazent. Surrender your arms and put your paws where I can see them. Ha ha ha! You piggies just never learn, do ya? You're a simple mortal. You bleed, you can be injured, and you can be killed. That's more than enough for me. Okay, this bag in front of me, I'm trying to remember what it does exactly. Yes, I may be mortal, but I have. But I have been outnumbered far beyond this, and yet I'm the one alive still. Can't you just make this easy for me and get out of my way? No. You die here and now, Rekazent. In that case, it seems I'll have to teach you the hard way. Don't say I didn't tell you so. I'll have totally told you so. Oh god. Ah! Good thing I can circle them like this. Ugh. Wonderful. Get out of my way, bitches. Glad we have all these different types of weapons. Okay, I was wondering what the ambiance is, or was, you know what I mean. I was hearing something that almost sounded like bell tolls, but I guess it's just uh, droning in the background. So all these flames are switches, or something. Alright. What have we got here? Wow! There you are! Hello, children. I'm High Lord Naxon. I've offered you fair warning, but you have persisted. So today your heretical reign ends, and the chapter of order begins. You should be careful about being cocky. My dad's a good example of why. Your lieutenants lie dead, your queen is no more, the freedom to object, the ability to speak and choose faiths will be the rights of the people again. I swear it. You're the last lock, gatekeeper. <laughs> oh, young fool, your words are brave, yet whom have I killed? What have I done to accrue such hatred, hmm? In fact, I'm sure this is the first we've met. How then do you suppose that I'm antagonizing you? Because you're the fucking High Lord, duh! My parents are dead, my uncle deceased, oh, he is dead, and most of my good friends gone forever. You're the one pulling strings here. I understand. You wish to appoint a scapegoat to blame your losses on, and perhaps in some way, I am at fault. I have to wonder though, don't you find it a tad strange? Dumping your pent-up frustrations on one who you only know through vague mysticism. It's kind of amusing. I've never met you until now, and certainly you've good reason to hate me, still. I can't help but appreciate your fervor, frivolous as it is. Whether I hate you or not doesn't even matter. I don't do this for revenge. I do this for my people, my country, and for my father who died trying to accomplish what I will today. A freedom! I mean, unless you were happy to just fuck off and let our country be free of your own accord. But I doubt that's your style. Perceptive, Regazant. Very perceptive. Besides, wouldn't want to disappoint our audience, would we? Audience? Never mind that. You've come here pumped, ready for a fight, and since every single unit I've sent to you sent at you has failed, it looks like it shall be up to my up to my to seal your fate. That's better. Prepare your butt, High Lord. It's showtime. The final gate stands in way of your salvation, requisite. Traitors to a tyrant, heroes to a heretic, scum to a street caked in the blood of Ken. You face no mere tyrant, moreover the herald of death itself. Whatever, bitch. Okay, what's the strongest weapon we have?
Oh, shit. Where are these coming from? Oh! Uh... Oh, damn it. It's lag. the magic bat oh fuck Jesus Christ this game's lag is its downfall how much does a cleaver do in comparison with this 40 damage you know what I think this is better since he uses that fucking orb attack which is really annoying. I have to get him from a distance, so. Blah, 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 blah. Was there an autosave right before the fight? I think there might have been. God damn it! dodging those for some reason. It really takes a while to charge that sniper. Ooh. Gumball! Gumball, please. Thank you. Okay, enough with the... Jesus Christ. Enough with the little fireballs falling down! Shit! <sighs> nah, we gotta use this. if there's anything better. I keep loading up the normal save, I don't know why. Oops, I didn't mean to equip that. Fuck you! I thought that paused the game. Looking through the menu like that. Oops, I wanna use it. Also, is our poster working? I thought that gives us like an extra life or a chance. It seems the thing that does the most damage is uh the little yeah, that thing. The mortar. Ah! Bruh. I'm 
gonna wait for that shit to stop. Owie! Why am I... Stop facing that way, damn it. Got him. Jesus. Foolish recusants, do you think I had not foreseen this? Consider my faith in anyone fairly low. <laughs> well, you waste your efforts, and you've opened your graves to oblivion. This entire construct is rigged to blow, of course. Self-destruct button. I need no escape, heretics. I don't die that easily. Several have attempted what you do. They have tried to secure chaos and freedom, as you have. And alike they, you, sh you share the face that all see moments before they're known do. You coward. You've twisted the meaning of everything. Hope, faith, utopia, order. You defy your own principles. Turn peoples against one another purely for your own benefit. You serve no one but yourself. Any move you make is for your own greed. Ha! Huh, are you any different? Can you speak those insults and not be duly damned a hypocrite? Has your ulterior motive been vengeance all along? Have your colleagues not shown trepidation or fear around you? Yes, fully. Your words are poison. I am only this way because I have nothing else. You, your cult, took it from me. Call me a monster if you want, beast, but it takes one to know one. So your strategy to defeat me, to defeat my cult, is to utilize the same form of traumatizing fear and disdain that made you what you are. I've heard it all before. You prowl to me about death like you assume I have not yet experienced it. I don't think I'm remaining faithful to my voice acting. <laughs> Whatever. It can't be! It is. What do you think you're dealing with? A living being? A mortal? Death is an unending nightmare following the painfully short dream of life. The dark seraph you believe you've killed. My lieutenants only lie dead as long as I permit. This... this is... You see now the futility of it all? I've opposed many who have tried what you are. What? If killing me was that simple, your father would have succeeded. But as you know, he lies dead, to be followed by his heirs. If you're quite done being a blabbermouth, why don't you just hurry up and kill us so I don't have to listen to your dumb bullshit anymore? He's jealous. What? I couldn't help but notice you referred to death as an eternal nightmare, and life as a painfully short dream. Perhaps Noel and Pep are busy with concerning themselves with hatred, but I know a yearning soul when I see one. What are you? You don't hate life at all. In truth, you want to feel as if you could live again. Death has nulled your excitement, hasn't it? You envy those that still live, and even worse, those who have multiple lives. Noel's parents were killed for no reason. There was one for you, though, wasn't there? They were cats. Those with not merely one life, but nine. And us of Persevere, us who blatantly defy you and get a kick out of running from your law, you see the excitement you have none for. It infuriates you, doesn't it? I... never even thought about it! Eh, of course you haven't. Been too busy trying to live, too focused on not staying dead. It's not quite that simple. Contrary to what my assumed stranglehold here might imply, my goal isn't to do this forever. It's much bigger than you can know, but we've no time to discuss it. To be commended is that you are the first to catch on. I really am miserable, aren't I? Perhaps it is your lack of planning that affords you some surprises that even my angular-eyed vision cannot foretell. Regardless, it's time to get you out of my way. The hell? Lose something? Sven! Fools! You tamper with forces beyond your understanding. Give that back. Excellent work, Nola. While I was distracting you with that revelation, Nola took this from you. <laughs> okay. You have no idea. It's power. Call me reckless, but I have a feeling setting it alight isn't going to benefit you at all. No! Back with the hell collar. I think your angular eyed sight is so good, then why didn't it foretell this? Damn. Overkill. 
Um, was that an audience I just heard? What the fuck? You know not what you've done! All of my projects, all of my progress on persuading the peoples, relinquished by your interfering. But count your blessing well. It will be you last! Warning, warning, this construct will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Repeat, this construct will self-destruct in 60 seconds. What? He activated the self-destruct. There's no way we can get out of here by that time. Call me crazy, but we have to jump. That way, there's a chance we'll live. Are you sure? You'll die, but if it's just the two of you, my coat should be enough. It's time I joined Father. <gasps> what? You can't mean... The world and the fool need to stay alive to clear the tower, vanquish the empress, and cleanse the devil for the sake of not just our father's legacy, but our country as well. Take my coat, brother and sister. Hold it in each, and like we do, land on your feet. Now go! If you're sure, let's go! Hey, wait! No time, stupid! Go! <laughs> Look at us! Ugh... Bye, Sven. Face it represents you live to be rebels and you will be happy with no leader. You will not lead yourselves, you will let others lead only so you can continue to rebel against them. That is the reason you are heretics, you embody anarchy itself. <sighs> Cutscene. Is he wearing a dress? Oh, it's just a t-shirt. Rest in peace. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> Alright. He's gone. He sacrificed his coat and himself so he could live. Leave me, just for a few minutes, please. A nice sidestep you got going there. Why? Why didn't he just flee? Why didn't you listen to me? I don't blame you. I blame myself for not being more strong about it. Damn it, Sped! Damn it! So our tyrannical shepherds may have caught up with us. So what? We could have at least lived longer and enjoyed our time more. Now not only you, our own child is dead. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, dear. I can't say it's anybody's. Life just has a cruel way of unfolding. But I was the one who said we should persist. It was too late. There is no escape now. It wasn't back then either. I'm not sure if we could have even escaped once I began to want that. I just hate that it happened this way. I love Sped dearly, and you boys, and later Nola, you all gave me a new lease on life, having lost not just Sped, but one of you as well. It's something very hard to face. I can do a lot for the unhealthy, but I'm afraid my powers are beyond the dead. Why do I have a feeling it's only going to get, keep getting more tragic from here? I'm not going to let that happen. We now know Naxon isn't beyond our abilities, and what's more, Rose does destruction of the sacrament, freed the minds of the citizens swayed by Naxon's influence. If we can rally the now worried people to our side, we can be more than just a small band. We can be an army. If you want to stick by me, I have an awesome idea to get the people on our side. Alright, you're on, Peppy. You aren't going anywhere without me, you got that? Hey, it's your decision to step back. Last time. It was your fucking decision, girl. Last time I let you two go by yourself, someone died, so I'm not letting you from my side again. You'll be okay with that, won't you? Huh, not that I have a choice. You're still my mom, after all. Since it seems the adults have the say, you're more than welcome to come along, Mom. Not like I wouldn't let you anyway. The media is force-feeding the populace lies to sway them back to their side. The time to strike is now. We're gonna hijack the media and deliver a message of truth. Then about a week later, we'll blow that fucking tower to the sky. For this, I'll have to call on an old lifeline. Sounds good to me. Let's go. It'll be good to meet Splode again. My aid is yours. Okay, so a lot happened in this episode. And we still have a ways to go. 
so I'm just going to stop right here, and I'll see you guys in the next part. So thank you for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it, and goodbye.